And let's see, in terms of attendees, are we now open? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, well, let's go ahead if everyone's ready. Let's go ahead and start our um, PowerPoint. First, I want to welcome everyone to our, get my date right, December 15th, Tuesday, December 15th, uh, 2020 update of our Uplift Local community program. And uh, just really uh, appreciate folks taking the time to get a quick snapshot on uh, current status and activities. We'll also have some time for Q&A if we do have any questions at the end. But uh, as always, we're recording this so people can watch it on demand. All right, my name's Ed Shikata. I'm the city manager here in Palo Alto, and I'm gonna lead off our discussion and then I'll ask each of our city staff team leads uh, to um, identify themselves as they jump into the presentation. So next slide, please. Oh, before we change the slide, we'd like to just call attention to the really nice graphic we have on uh, this title slide. Uh, we're updating some of the graphics where we can uh, do turnover to reflect the holiday season and uh, also hopefully uh, some weather. So um, again, just reflecting the times uh, and really appreciate uh, the community support through all the challenges that everyone has been experiencing. Next slide, please. All right, just to, to go through the items that we'll be covering here during our session. Um, obviously, welcome and some uh, remarks that I've already shared. Let me talk to the uh, shift uh, that we are now seeing in the state and county uh, stay at home order. Then we'll talk about uh, some specifics on our uplift program and some holiday celebration opportunities. Uh, parking updates uh, around town, and then we'll open it up for questions. So next slide, please. All right, so just in terms of what the state of California and Santa Clara County and really uh, many Bay Area counties have been implementing recently, uh, really important for us to emphasize that as a community, our actions can save lives. And uh, this is a message that we really appreciate every member of the community sharing, in particular with those who may not feel that uh, they're either at risk or that they're just exhausted as we do appreciate that everyone is. Uh, but nonetheless, really important for us to make this push through the holidays uh, so we can maximize the safety of our community as a whole, uh, getting into 2021 and looking forward uh, to coming out of this pandemic. So some of these uh, elements are pretty basic and then there are some more specific instructions, very basic, wearing a mask. Anytime you're outside your home, uh, state public health order uh, does supersede what may have uh, been somewhat confusing or just in uh, information overload uh, from any other level of government. But again, just very simple, uh, wear your mask, restrict your travel outside of the county, uh, do not gather um, with others outside of your home or with others outside your household um, and maintain a safe distance uh, when you do. In terms of the regional state at home orders and their effects here in Palo Alto, first uh, that restaurants are no longer doing outdoor dining, uh, takeout and delivery only. Retail stores are open for the holidays and really important to patronize and support our local businesses, noting that they will be monitoring occupancy in any indoor space and limiting it to 20% of their uh, normal capacity. Although grocery stores are able to have 35% of their normal uh, occupancy. At the city, uh, a number of our programs have been modified. Playgrounds are reopened. Yes, they were open, then they were closed, and then they're open, and then they're closed. And so now they're open again, uh, based on state order. And uh, this past Thursday morning are open, and this includes the Magical Bridge uh, Playground. Uh, and uh, so we're really appreciative of our partnership there. Uh, recreation classes indoor, as well as the Palo Alto Arts Center indoor uh, programming are all closed now and our libraries are providing continued sidewalk service. It's been modified some, though from a user perspective, you, it should be entirely transparent. So please continue to patronize our libraries. So with that, let me pass it on to, I believe, uh, Brad Eggleston. Uh, hi, I'm Brad Eggleston, the uh, Public Works Director. Thanks, Ed. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the stay-at-home orders. Um, 
Current health orders really have a focus on maintaining hospital intensive care unit bed capacity, and that's reflected on this slide. And the concern there is, is even beyond uh, care for COVID patients, lack of ICU capacity means that other people that get ill with um, other types of typical hospital visits, like let's say uh, someone was to have a heart attack, if those ICU beds are not available, uh, then the proper care is, is not able to be provided. And you know, be, beyond even ICU beds, this also applies to healthcare professionals. So there's also a focus on regional hospital staffing and uh, being able to maintain those resources. Uh, so again, as Ed went over on the previous slide, it's very important that people stay home, uh, tr uh, try to only leave for essential activities, and especially don't travel for non-essential reasons and uh, travel uh, especially long distances outside of the county. And the health orders uh, do have specific quarantine requirements where if you traveled very far and are returning to the county, uh, you need to do a 14 day quarantine. <clears throat> uh, so some other results of the stay at home order, uh, everyone's familiar with the Uplift Local Program with the pedestrian zones on Cal Ave and, and University Avenue that we were able to have through the summer and into the fall. Uh, but due to the updated orders as of uh, last Monday, uh, the streets have been uh, reopened to vehicular traffic and uh, those permits that were issued for use of the street and parklets are temporary, temporarily suspended. So, um, Outdoor dining is no longer allowed under the current orders, and uh, this will be the case at least through January 4th of next year. <clears throat> next slide, please. And then kind of on to uh, enforcement. Recognizing the importance of social distancing and wearing masks to control this, uh, what's become a very serious wave of infections we're experiencing. Uh, as pointed out here, the county is working on a new administrative process for enforcing violations and asking for help from local government. So um, the ask is that local government would help by issuing administrative notices of violation for people who are uh, not complying with the orders. Uh, administrative notices are not criminal citations, but they're kind of like tickets that would have uh, a fine along with them. So the, the types of violations that the county's asking local government to look at, uh, basically people who are not following the social distancing protocols and capacity postings at businesses. Uh, these are the postings with the check marks that we see on businesses that are open. Uh, unlawful gatherings, uh, these could be parties, sports events at parks, uh, gatherings at homes and then after hours, business complaints and complaints about gatherings. So um, city staff are in regular communication with the county. Um, we're, we're still trying through a number of means to promote awareness of the health order requirements as our primary focus, uh, but we are also coordinating with the county about how city staff can begin to help with enforcement as we move forward. And I, with that, I will turn it over to Kara Apple. Good evening, I'm Kara Apple. I work in the city manager's office and I help with business outreach. Um, a couple of the local uplift local changes that we wanted to make you aware about um, in light of the restaurants having to um, shift to a takeout and pickup um, model only, uh, at our upliftlocal.org page, we've created a tab that has all the restaurants that are offering takeout, delivery, and pickup. It'll list the restaurant, their hours, and I believe there's a mapping uh, tool connected with it as well. So go check out that page and you can see all the restaurants and the hours that they are open for takeout and delivery. Um, now more than ever, it is really important to support our local businesses. Um, Palo Alto has the downtown uh, district, Cal Lab, Stanford Shopping Center, Town and Country, Midtown. Um, please shop uh, safely, but locally and um, 
takeout is always your best option to take uh, food and bring it home to dine with your family. Um, another option for people to think about is buying gift cards for takeout so you can um, use them well into next year, but any way that you can help support our local business is as much appreciated. Um, next slide. Um, if you go to the upliftlocal.org page, you will see on our events tab, a 30 days of Palo Alto holiday cheer. And you'll notice the artwork here and on the webpage, it features um, more artwork from this local artist. And we've put together um, many local uh, businesses who are featuring a product um, for you to check off those last minute holiday gifts. So I'll direct you to that page. Again, it's got um, promotions from businesses. It'll have the restaurant page for um, hours of operation, takeout and delivery services, and then also retail uh, stores. And then again, this, this 30 days of Palo Alto holiday cheer where we're featuring some of our local um, businesses. And with that, I think I'll hand it off to Philip Cammy. Thanks, Kara. I'm Philip Cammy, Chief Transportation Official. Um, here to talk a little bit about um, some parking updates. So uh, we continue to allow um, parking in our parking garages and lots and um, on street in our commercial zones. We are not doing any parking enforcement at this time um, in the parking garages and significant in this is that we opened a brand new garage in California Avenue um, on the corner of uh, Birch and Sherman on December 8th. Um, that garage um, has not only um, ample parking for cars, but it also has um, um, some uh, uh, several bike racks and um, also EV charging. Um, and um, along with that and all the other garages in California Avenue and in um, the University Avenue District, um, it's a great place for you to park if you need to um, make some uh, stops, um, pick up food or do any of the things, pick up a gift card. I, I like that um, suggestion that um, Kara just made. Um, and um, another um, thing in relation to parking is that the uh, residential preferential parking districts or um, RPP districts, um, we've uh, initiated um, parking enforcement. Um, and, um, and then finally, just noting that um, you know, in the commercial zones, we're, we're continuing the free parking, um, but we're really encouraging that you turn over your cars um, for that curbside pickup um, in the locations nearest to the restaurants. And with that, I'm going to hand it back to City Manager Ed Shikata. Okay, sorry for the delay there. I lost my screen for a second. All right, just a quick uh, update or, or look ahead to our next one of these sessions will be on January 19th, 5.30 p.m. Uh, we continue to invite members of the community to provide feedback via survey that we've got on our homepage under news uh, for um, the particulars to navigate to the survey form. Um, here we'll take questions if there are any in just a second. And also note that uh, if you have any other questions on city programs that you can email me at citymanager, that's C-I-T-Y-M-G-R at cityofpaloalto.org. All right, I believe that covers our question. Uh, yeah, something got out of order here. I'm not quite sure what happened. So in any case, so I cover this? Why sure. not? Okay. <laughs> so the, um, all right. So contactless toy drive, which is uh, coming up tomorrow, uh, pickups from, or drop, I'm sorry, drop offs at the Mitchell Park Community Center for new unwrapped toys, books, or gifts. Uh, really appreciate any donations for local youth in need. And again, that will be at the Mitchell Park Community Center, presumably in the parking lot since it's a drop off. Uh, let's see, also our home or business decoration contest. Uh, you can sign up for that uh, up through tomorrow uh, on our uh, cityofpaloalto.org slash decorate. I understand that we've got more than 20 homes or businesses that have already signed up. So the competition will be fierce. Uh, so if you wanna show off your decorations, this is the perfect time to do that. And then finally, uh, 
holiday art kits. I was distracted a moment ago because I was just ordering mine. So I will uh, make sure that I get back to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, we've got here a web page. I'm sure you can get through it to our, through our art center. But uh, if you're audio only, it's H HTTPS colon slash slash bit dot Lee slash holiday art kit, one word. Uh, and pick up at the art center Wednesdays and Fridays, I think tomorrow. When, uh, this Friday, as well as next Wednesday, I presume not Friday the 25th. So that is our update. So we'll wrap it at this point. We'll open it up if there are any questions, uh, but if I missed anything, members of the team, it's not, okay, we're good. So we will wrap our uh, presentation at this point. We'll turn off our uh, recording. Uh, but that uh, we'll also stay here and uh, open it up if we have any questions from our attendees.